the more I'm drinking this, the more I like it. Yeah! Hi guys, it's Danger, and I'm going to be doing a, another coffee review. This time we're going to be taking a look at Black Rifle Coffee Company and their medium roast. So a few things to know about the Black Rifle Coffee Company. They're run by veterans. They're also known for their really crazy commercials where they've got guys running around with a lot of guns and shooting and, and mostly just a lot of guns. So they're really a fun group to follow and um, I'm really looking forward to giving this coffee a taste finally after about a month of saying that I'm going to do this. So here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have a video of me blocking the fridge just like this because it's relevant. Cool. Coffee. Before I actually go and taste this and give this my review, I just wanted to give you guys a look at the actual, actual packaging there. And boom, there it is. Black Rifle Coffee, caffeinated as fuck. C-A-F. So, an interesting little organization, and if you look on the back, you'll see it's a product of the United States. A portion of profits go to veteran, Leo, and gun rights organizations, and its ingredients Coffee. coffee. So Black Rifle Coffee Company, um, it's just blackrifle.com. Anyway, very fun. Let's see how the coffee tastes. Quick look at the grind. Um, it looks to be about a six, so not too coarse, not too fine. All right, so we have prepared the Black Rifle Coffee goodness and we're gonna give it a shot um and of course i had to use my most manly really mug feeling it. cowboy joe coffee located in elko nevada all right first impressions it's not quite what i expected um it is a medium roast and I have to keep that in mind. But the thing is, is when you see something like Black Rifle, you think that everything they have is going to be a bit dark. So this is definitely still a medium roast. Now that I've kind of passed this hurdle, being not as dark as I thought, there's some really nice flavors in here. They're not super um, right off the bat. Something that you're, that's hitting this. The more I'm drinking this, the more I like it. It does not have a wow beginning factor. That is for sure, but lackluster, really, that initial sip is. It's subtle, but it's a very, almost want to say masculine, but that's not quite the right word, but it definitely has that, like, badassery behind it. It's kind of like a, a dark, it's more woody than it is smoky, but it definitely has some of that. It's kind of this, like, undercurrent of, like, raw strength, but it's still so... It's still medium real, so it's kind of just like the flavor is there. So, what an interesting... This is not what I expected at all. We have hit the bottom here. Um, here's what's up. This cup of coffee had flavor in it so that's the first thing lots of flavor what type of flavor okay so we're talking dark smoky woody and actually dark woody smoky in that kind of order kind of a raw woodsy type of feel all around things it did not have is it did not have that first big impact final verdict I like this coffee, but because of how much flavor it has and because of its lack of impact in the first sip, as a morning coffee, wouldn't wouldn't do it. A 6 out of 10 or a would not consume. It would definitely be more of like an afternoon coffee. I would give it afternoon coffee, I'd say 7.5 to 8.5, depending on how you're feeling. A would consume rating. If you're looking for a new coffee that has flavor that you just want to try out, Black Rifle Coffee, pretty cool.